Good morning, everybody. Um, thank you, Steve, for the introduction. I'm Robert Cassley from uh, Keynote Systems. I'm a consultant uh, at Keynote, and I've been there for three years. And I'd just like to introduce you to two tools that we give away for free, uh, one being KITE, uh, which stands for Keynote Internet Testing Environment, and one called MITE, uh, which is the Mobile Internet Testing Environment. There'll be full details coming up throughout the presentation as to where you can get these tools from. And so um, the reason I wanted to talk about these today is that we all use, I'm a web developer, a PHP web developer as well, you know, we all use the tools that are out there for free today, like YSlow, web page test, page speed, Firebug, etc. And these are all great tools for when you're just on that page within the browser, you have the plugin in your browser and you can start looking at, you know, how can I improve performance? You know, you take all these metrics from these tools. But the tools that I'm going to show you today and demonstrate live are tools that allow you to do multi-step journeys. You know, you can actually record scenarios, critical paths, you know, you can regression test your, your website with these tools. It just allows you to create a script and play it time and time again. You can send these scripts out to other Kite users or Might users around the world and you can pick up their sort of like metrics and performance from their locations as well. So I'll start with Kite. This is the uh, desktop web uh, version of the tool. Uh, it's a Windows tool, so I know there's a lot of Macs here today, so you'll have to fire up your VM to get it running on a Mac, I'm afraid. Uh, the reason it's Windows only is it's tied heavily into IE. Uh, today it supports uh, IE 9 and uh, Firefox, and you can change compatibility mode uh, in IE 9 to regress back to 7 and 8 if you want to. Like I mentioned, you can uh, record uh, user journeys. Uh, we can do clever stuff with this tool whereby we can uh, DOM script in there. So if we need to sort of like interact with some wacky elements on the page that we come across from time to time, we can actually DOM script in there to do that. And I've got a demo coming up showing you that. And you can also do some clever stuff with the, the API built into the tool where we can scrape the whole DOM and we can parse the DOM for additional information. We can scrape headers out of there. We can pull out server IDs. We can insert cookies to change the behavior of the page to stop pop-ups and you know, all that kind of good stuff. So it's, it's a very, very powerful tool. And I won't demo it all today because I've only got the 10 minutes. Obviously, with IE9, we've got some new metrics coming now. With, we've got uh, time to first paint, time to interactive, and you'll see that in the demo that I'm going to run in, the, in a moment. And we also uh, allow you with a tool for free to run your scripts from five locations around the globe at any time that you want. And those locations are San Fran, uh, New York, London, Frankfurt, and Hong Kong. So any script that you create, you can put it out on the Keynote uh, uh, network and run those scripts and get the results back. You get the waterfall back and you get all the nice metrics out of it as well. So not only have you got it for your desktop, but you can also put it on the Keynote network and run it that way as well. So let me just um, go to this. So I talked about, um, it's also obviously with a real browser, it's got uh, full support for Flash, Ajax, Silverlight, etc. cetera. Um, we've also got burst mode testing in there, so you can play the script multiple times to just check that the performance obviously is consistent. We also have the ability to split out objects on the page, so it's extremely useful for third-party um, uh, sort of like analysis of the tags on the page, so you can filter them into what we call virtual pages, I personally call buckets, but you can sort of like split out your ad tags, your video tags, your analytics tags, and any other tags you may have on the page and get the performance metrics of those individual tags within the page as well. You can also control uh, the page completion, so you can you know, go to uh, document ready when the browser thinks it's done. We can hold it open for whatever period of seconds you want to set it to to ensure all TCP um, network connections have been shut down. We can add timers to it, which is especially useful with Flash, because obviously Flash or uh, video will keep pulling it down, pulling it down and keeping it open so we can set a timer and cut off at a particular time. We can also do DOM completion events in the tool. So if you want to do like above the fold monitoring, you look for a particular you know, tag in the page and you can just stop the, the playback of your script at a, at a given time in there as well. And obviously it supports you know, the cache on, cache off. So I'm going to just jump into a quick demo of Kite. So I'm, I've got a script here pre-prepared and uh, I'm just going to click play here. And this is going to the good old BBC website. 
And what it's going to do is go to the home page, it's going to pick a random section, and then it's going to pick the first headline off that page. Now, the reason I wanted to show this script today is that this is a site that is constantly changing, yeah? There's constantly new, new stories, new news coming in. You know, it's not something that I can just, you know, record and point and click because that headline might disappear. You know, the section might change. It's just trying to make it, you know, clever. So within that, we've got the ability within the tool to basically, you know, put in some basic JavaScript, which basically looks for the page. And in this case, I'm looking for a nav tag. And then once I've found the nav tag, click on the nav tag um, in there and move to that section. And we do the same for the, for the headline. And we can play this back uh, time and time again. And basically, you know, you've got all the nice uh, metrics being reported back here in, 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 uh, in the Kite tool. So you can get Kite from um, kite.keynote.com. It is a free download. That brings me quite nicely into Mite. Uh, again, it's another Windows-based tool. It's based uh, on the WebKit engine. It has the kind of same features that Kite has. It allows you to basically um, record multi-step journeys through your mobile website. It um, also gives you a nice Mite score. So a bit like the uh, uh, page speed you know, analysis gives you a nice sort of like percentage of how well you've done, like on web page test, et cetera. It has full support for geolocation, swipe and touch events, and uh, you know, all the nice stuff in HTML5 like local storage, etc. cetera. Um, again, um, we like to sort of like analyze the page and give you some like hints and tips on your mobile site. It supports over 12,000 device profiles. We don't just send down a user agent string. Every new device that comes out we actually you know, record how it handles JavaScript and CSS, and we just basically build up a complete device profile. And anybody else can create a device profile and import it into the tool to play it back. One of the key things about the Mite tool is that um, Google have adopted this on their How to GoMo site. It's the same engine on their site that is used inside the Mite tool today. So if you go to howtogomo.com, and uh, have a play with that, you're basically using the uh, Mite tool um, on that site as well. So we'll have a quick demonstration of Mite. So Mite is uh, very easy to use. You can basically uh, tap in your URL there. I'm going to go off to TK Maxx. I want to buy a handbag. And you can basically choose your device profile. I'm going to just use an iPhone 4S. And you can start you know, just browsing it. And as you're going through the website, you're getting your Mite score. Uh, it's giving you all the usual nice information. It gives you some nice hints and tips on how you could best improve uh, the page and increase performance. And it is completely, you know, we can literally just um, scroll th through the website and we can click on this and, and record scripts. So if I just go back to my script, and I'll just show you guys what a script looks like. This is um, sort of like the behind the scenes. And in here, you know, we can do, again, all kinds of clever things. We can you know, randomly sort of select products. For example, in the TK Maxx site, I don't just want to keep clicking the brown handbag. That handbag could go out of stock, and the uh, link becomes broken. So with this tool, again, you can use uh, JavaScript to just basically automate your test and make it more intelligent so uh, it doesn't break and keep, um, uh, doesn't break every time you, you, you run it. So I'd just like to thank you for listening to me today. That's my 10 minutes up, and um, I hope you have a great Velocity show, and please stop by the keynote booth in the Sponsors Pavilion, and uh, we'll be happy to answer and take your questions. Thank you very much.